Let's do this. All right. Woo-hoo! Rumble recap. Rumble recap. Oh, it's the end of the season. Oh. Season one. all the things that they messed up in the end of season one. Exactly, exactly. Guys, cheers to that, because that awesome job. Yes. You know? Cast, crew, everyone yes. involved, you got renewed. Yes. We love it. Yeah, and I was really, I was really hoping I was pulling for it. So. Yeah, totally. We gotta see where this goes. Right. You left us with all of that? Yes. Yeah, we definitely gotta know what we the about to get going in, on. We about to get into that. Ooh, yes. Let's get started. the season finale oh man it's already time i know i actually was really surprised by that i was like oh man we're yeah. here yeah it was a short season hopefully season two they can get a little more episodes mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. maybe we're not trying to smush so much into so little time yes, please. that would help please. a lot with the pacing maybe give us a little bit more character development yeah a little, a little relationship mm-hmm. friendship mm-hmm. what we're thinking that make sense mm-hmm Speaking Maybe. of, mm. how, where are we starting with? Where are we starting? You know what? I think we should just go in for the kill. Let's talk about Malik's because, uh-huh. girl, hearts were broken. Twitter was on fire. Just, I could not, I stayed up until like 1 a.m. Just like with other people, just talking and just bitching and moaning because... Yeah. Yeah. I want to say that my issue, and what I think most of the people that feel this way, the issue really isn't that it's not Malik's. Yes. Like, yes, yes. we love Malik's, yes. we want Malik's, la la la. But the issue with how this happened and why people are so upset does not have anything to do really with Malik's to me. Um, because it makes sense that they're not together yet. Right. You know, people understand yes. that they need time. Yes. They want the relationship to have that slow mm-hmm. burn. Mm-hmm. You know, they want all that. And their their characters are both like in kind of different places right now. Yeah. They're trying to figure. They're both trying to figure things out. So it does make sense that right now just isn't the right time. Exactly. And I think most people get that. The issue really is that love triangles are so immature. They're yes. so yes. grown up. And, you know, this is not a high school show. Yes, no, the original right. was. The original, yes. this would maybe have worked in the original. Yes. But mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. they have made a point that this is 10 years after high school. Exactly. They're 28, they're, 29 mm-hmm. years old. Yep. They're almost 30. I do not know of a single 30-year-old person that would go through this. Like, I, I just don't know. Like, just that in and of itself is really frustrating. Yeah. Because... Love triangles just don't make sense. It's not real life for an adult. Yeah. It's so high school drama and it just doesn't it just doesn't make sense. And the biggest thing is like it doesn't make sense for those characters. Yes. And that's compounded by yes. their best friends. Yeah. Like that mm-mm. like no. I just I could not imagine one dating any of my friends' exes, period. Mm-hmm. Let alone someone that they mm-hmm. loved. Right. Or someone that they, you know, currently still love. Yeah. I mean, she saw, what was that, two or three episodes ago when Alex was like, hey, I know that you yeah, knocked boots with Michael. And she could tell that he was upset. Oh, for she sure. She can tell. And she was like, oh, that's, hey, I did not know. Like, nice. she backed off. And I well, thought that meant, like... Okay, this is done. Well, and even in this episode when she was talking to Liz, she was like, "Yeah." By the way, that's like that's museum guy to Alex. Like, I feel like shit about it, and yeah. I don't know what to do. 
you and know, so, so she other is very friend, Liz. Yeah, exactly. Like both Maria and Liz were just so disrespectful of Alex's feelings. Like, if there had been a scene where they had, like, talked to Alex, well, that's the issue. Nobody talked to Alex, okay? At the end of the episode, it is Alex waiting for Michael, the sad, lonely, gay trope, just sitting there and waiting, and Michael and Maria are off, you know, kissing, and Michael's playing the guitar. Like, it's such a... uh, It's so disrespectful to the character of Alex, who has been... Really trying to open up. Yeah. Really trying to be honest. Mm-hmm. Yep. And it's kind of just thrown in his face, and no one even has the decency to go and just tell him. If Michael had gone to him at the trailer and said, Yes. Look, I care for you, and I have all these feelings, but right now there's so much going on, and I just mm-hmm. can't right now. Yes. Yes. That would have been, you know, and him say, like, Marie and I have this thing and I kind of want to see where it goes or whatever. Like That still would be drama. Like, I know that's what you're wanting. Like, that would still be heart-wrenching. Totally. you'd be crying your eyes out and, like, feeling for Alex and, like... But it wouldn't be disrespectful. Like, there's just something about this that's so... Because that's what adults do. Yeah. They go in and they confront their problem and their situation and they try to solve it. It's a small town. It's not like they're, like, Alex is not going to find out. Right. And they're best friends. So the fact that Maria didn't talk to him about it, the fact that Michael didn't talk to him about it, and he's literally just sitting there waiting, thinking that Michael's going to come and, like, Mm -hmm. they're going to have a talk. Like, it just seems so rude. Yeah. And I just... it's like, you know, a kid, like, waiting at his locker because they said you're going to walk home together. And, yeah. you, you know, they just get stood up. Like, oh, it's yeah. just so, it, it's just so juvenile. Yeah. And it doesn't make any sense why, and, you know, that Maria didn't stop Michael and say, like, did you talk to Alex? Yeah. Like, that she's just, okay, okay. Cool. Yeah. So, what? like, and, and that, so we we talked about this off camera. Like, my biggest thing is, like, all of a sudden, like, we have, like, this Maria that's in love with Michael in a way. Like, just, like, head over heels for him. And all, like, in, like, a romantic way. It's not yeah. just a, like, oh, and the sex was good. when did this happen? Because you had, what? Like, yes, flirting off and on, blah, 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 blah. Then they have this, like, one day that's really awesome. And then it's, like, you know, you have, like, your booty banging, mm-hmm. booty call or whatever. Which is fun and sexy. And I'm sure you could get, like... Feeling some feelings from that, sure. sure. Catching feelings, sure. But like that's really it. Like yeah. there hasn't been anything like any more full conversations established to where I got this like really major chemistry where I'm right. like, oh shit, like they're really feeling for each other. Like right. to me, this just came out of left field. Like it just didn't feel right. It's almost like we talk about this all the time on the show where it's like all of these things are happening off camera it seems yeah, like. Yeah, like we have to like assume that they've been having conversations or yeah. assume that they've been sharing looks or whatever. Yeah. It's like we see some of that, but not enough that I just feel like these last few episodes all we see Maria doing is pining. Yes, and it's not her character no, either. Like the have, way that they wrote her. Yes, they have the real issue is that Maria has been set up in that first half of the season as you know she's strong she's psychic you know she's badass she's independent yes she's in control of herself yes and now all she cares about is michael like it's just it's such a uh, it is it is that high school cop-out way of just you know all a girl cares about is boys and there's so much more to her that they've made. Exactly. They didn't create her as this boy crazy thing. It wasn't like, you know, she's kind of joked around about him basically from the beginning. They kind of had this teasing, but it wasn't what her entire existence was. Right. But I just feel like these last couple episodes, it's just, oh, Michael. Oh. And it just feels it's just, it's like off. a character assassination yes. of like what was such a cool, fun character. All she cares about is a, some dude that she had a one night stand with. Exactly. Like, yes. I just don't like it. And especially then finding out everything with Alex. Yes. Like, it yes. just, is she the type of person that would knowingly hurt one of her best friends of, what, 20 years? Yeah. I mean, that's a lot. Like, that. that is a bad person. That's not someone I'd want to be friends with. Right. Right. Like, I mean, that is, she knows that that will hurt him. It's not a maybe. She, she knows. knows. Yeah. Well, and 
it's another thing too that like the way that they've written these characters it's like they're saying they're telling us they are all their best friends you know mm -hmm. alex liz and maria they're best friends they have been best friends for a long time blah blah blah, blah. and it's cool like to keep telling us that but like we need to feel that we need yeah. more scenes with them all just like hanging out and like actually being friends yeah. not being told that they're friends because right. i don't i don't feel that i don't show like, don't tell people i don't feel writing one -on -one. like they've been friends for that long no. especially the way they all be acting yeah well and then you know the way that liz basically pushed maria into that final step you know yeah. telling her you know you can't help who you fall for which true i don't disagree like it sucks it yeah. is a shitty situation that maria has feelings for michael knowing you know all the alex and michael history but at the same time like that doesn't mean to encourage it like yeah. I, or it's something like i get that you can help you who you fall for but like maybe the three of you need to have a conversation like i don't know like i, I that's my biggest issue is there's no communication yes like with right. everyone involved and it's just yeah i don't know like i said i just couldn't imagine putting a friend let alone a best friend yeah through that yeah i just why that's not a good person and i don't want to not like maria i love maria right and i just i don't like feeling you know like she's not good and just to preface all of our issues that we have are really with the writing yes the Agreed. actors, actors are, are fantastic yes. like truly they are yes. i mean this is no hate to any of the actors and actresses like yep. they are so good they make up for a lot of the crappy writing that happens um so i just want to say that mm -hmm. nothing mm -hmm. against them they're wonderful and phenomenal like truly it's okay to have scenes where we're just hanging out yeah you know yeah like, it doesn't have to be like this all the time we don't need to have like super heavy plot shit happening every five seconds yeah. like we could literally have a minute of screen time where it's just even just liz and maria yeah. just hanging out talking. like a montage like a week's Gosh. gone by and it's like all yes. these little scenes of yes. like they went to the movies and then they did yeah. this just so we see them laughing and being yeah. kind of being friends. free yeah and it doesn't have to always be this heavy shit all the time exactly we're not asking exactly. for much right i think everybody wants that give us a montage yeah come on yeah it would be easy mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. oh, you probably just shoot them all backstage you know they're mm -hmm. they're hanging right. out just they're having a good old time but like okay yeah, just get that. Yeah. Green screen it. <laughs> <laughs> Green screen it. Fix it in post. Green screen it. Yeah. No, I'm just C CGI yes. versions of them. Yes, exactly. <laughs> it's just, Alex needs new friends is basically what I'm getting to. And that friend is Kyle. Kyle Volant. Was Kyle not a badass this episode? He was. Albeit a little crazy. Yeah. That was another one of those things where I was like, this is really like out of nowhere. Like you didn't give us any lead up for him like stressing out and being crazy. Him at the gun shop is what we're talking about. Yes, at the gun shop. Yeah, because like I didn't even realize he was like freaking out about Master Sergeant like following him. Yeah. So like all of a sudden this is like instantly like a fear and then he's like freaking out and at the gun shop. he's like almost, he's like mental. Yeah. I mean, he's and like disturbed. Thing, like I haven't seen signs of this until literally just now. So where yeah. is this coming I from? I felt like we, we were watching it. I feel like we were like, did we take drugs? Is this a dream <laughs> sequence? Right. Like there was something so bizarre about it. Again, wonderfully acted. Yeah. Like I right. felt, I felt his fear. Good job, I Michael. felt it. Good job. Like mm -hmm. it was good. But yeah, yeah, yeah. in terms of the actual like story, it was weird. There's just no, my again, my problem, there's just no lead up yeah. to things. Yeah, you have they to just, have foreshadowing. Yeah. Well, I mean, even going back to Noah. Yeah. Like, there really wasn't any foreshadowing of Noah, and that's a big, you know, issue I have, is there were so many things that they did to make him seem normal, that then when we find out he's not, it doesn't make sense. Yeah. Because it wasn't really led up to correctly. Even just yeah. little things. Yeah. Like... I don't know. There's just, I think they're trying so hard to be twisty that they're just straight up not giving information. When Liz got stabbed. Yes. Like, we were like, when did she get stabbed? Because they didn't show <laughs> it. I legit was like, 
wait, what? Like, they straight up didn't show up. We watched it twice. And yeah. you still, because mm-hmm. I was like, let's look. And legitimately, you don't see it. She makes no reaction. It, even if she just went, <gasps> and like grasped at herself and you didn't see the cut, I could yeah. at least kind of be like, uh-oh. But they just didn't show it. They only did that because they wanted this reveal. Mm-hmm. They wanted this twist yep. that she said she was fine, but she was actually stabbed. Right. It's just like... <sighs> It doesn't make sense. It's just, it makes me just like not trust the show. Yeah. Like I don't trust you to be honest with me and just show me the story because you're too busy trying to like confuse me or try to get me off your trail. Yeah. When just tell your story. Don't worry about being twisty. There's still going to be twisty things. Exactly. But you still have to have little foreshadowing, little lead ups. Yes, please. It can't just be, oh, here we go. What? Case of point. Look how successful Game of Thrones is. Mm-hmm. And that's all it is, is freaking foreshadowing. So and, true. And they got the twists in there. Yeah, I have to say, too, I think part of the reason we're especially, especially... Mm, it's Game of Thrones season. Yeah, we're yeah. especially harsh. Yeah. We just watched Game of Thrones on Sunday, and yeah. it's such... I mean, the writing is so good. Yeah. And it's just, it's, you know, the best, or some of the best TV right now. And so watching that and then watching Roswell, it makes Roswell not look as good. It's true. Sorry. Sorry. Um, But that doesn't mean that it can't be good because there's so much potential. Like, as much as we're bitching, like, we're excited. We are. Like, we want to know what happens. We want it renewed. Yes. We want it renewed. Yeah. We want to know what's happening. Mm -hmm. We just want a little more forethought. Yes. In the foreshadowing. Look. And in the lead up. Twists are great. Drama's great. Mm -hmm. But yin yang. Balance. Yes. We just need a little, little bit of balance. Yes. Little bit of. Not lead even up. hand holding. Just something. Yeah. Just you don't have to pack in six episodes worth of material into one. Exactly. Like I know you didn't have exactly. a lot of episodes, so you're just kind of like, we gotta get all this stuff because it's re- it's exciting. But then that makes certain storylines not quite happen. Um, there's also there's just so much like confusion. I saw people on Twitter were talking about how. They were like, wait, what do you mean Liz didn't know that Rosa was um, part Valenti? Like, people, mm. like, there were people that thought she already knew. Really? Yeah. She's like, oh. they're like, what? Kyle didn't tell her? And I was like, no. I mean, we, but, we both have been like, what the hell, Kyle? Like, right. I've had like 50 opportunities. Exactly. And so it's like, I don't know. There's, I feel like there's confusion within the people watching it. Because you have all these like people withholding information, some people freely giving information, like, yeah. and because some things happen off screen, you know, like you know, the one did. There was like uh, someone finding out about the aliens was off screen. Yeah. Oh, was it yeah. Well, one? Yeah, that might have been Sheila. No. No, it was Alex. It was Alex. You're right. It was, it Alex. was Alex. Yeah. Um. So. Maybe it's just people assuming, well, it's been months or weeks, however long. I'm sure Kyle's told her by now since you don't always show us, but then he didn't. So right. it's just, you can't show some things, but then show other things. Like, it's confusing, and people are getting confused as to who knows what and what happened when because mm-hmm. we're mm-hmm. not getting enough information. Story it's a problem. Telling. Storytelling. Basics. Yeah. Basics. Yeah. Now, let's move on to the full plot of this last episode. Mm. Noah the on the loose. Part two, almost. Part two, yeah. It was a part two. Yes. Tour. Yes. Yeah, Noah on the loose. He got free. Stabbed Michael in the neck. Oh, God. Oh. That was gruesome. Oh, my God. That was gruesome. Well, and that whole scene with Max and Michael. Yeah, like, that was intense. And there. Oh, God. It yeah. was the whole thing. I mean, and Michael was all upset, and it was it was yeah. it was hard yeah. to watch. Baby. It was baby. Oh, but yeah, flip. and Michael was just wanting answers, and we kind of got some answers. We got like very vague answers, but Noah yeah. did give some information, talking about the aliens basically being godlike. Yes. Yeah, I was suddenly getting like, oh, ancient aliens. Like, we're yeah. going down this road. Yeah. Yeah, like, they, you know, always talk about that stuff with, like, ancient pyramids and stuff like that and how, you know, they think these were actually aliens that came down and, like, 
told them the shit or whatever. Yeah. So we're like straight up gods. We've got Thor up in Thor, here. Thor, yeah. Zeus. Lightning god. Coming, yeah. Yeah. And they've got powers that they don't know about. Yeah. Save, then, he said savior. He, yes, and yet yeah, Max said, specifically. Yes. So that he's a savior, and there's some sort of enlightening or alighting. Yeah. Some sort of festival. It sounded, I don't know. Yeah. It's not a festival. Uh, but it just sounds like, oh, hello, we're going to the enlightening. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Or whatever. It was something like that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, so something that where the, whoever attacked their home planet is going to, like, come for them. So, yeah. So they are some sort of savior gods, whatever. And they're, they're specifically are special, mm -hmm. we think. Because Noah talked about being a peasant, and he kind of said that he was going to use them as some sort of like bargaining chip exactly. or something. So we know there's something with yeah. them. Well, and he, he had mentioned too, like where they were, they were placed, their paws were placed specifically there to protect them. Right. So yes, they are they are special. Yes. So. Hmm. That'll, that'll have to wait until season two before we find out exactly where it's going. Because. No. Uh. Savior is a different word. It's you know, that's a that's a specific word. Yeah. That does make me wonder where they're going. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, because it's like you think it's gonna be kind of like the original, right? With who but they I are. No. But yeah, when he threw in the whole savior thing, I'm like, and oh. gods, and yeah. I mean that's a whole like, different thing. That. Yeah. I yeah. will have to see. Yeah. And then the big thing with Noah was as. Uh, Isabel went to talk to him and tell him she didn't love him and all that fun stuff. He says to take care of her. Yeah, and we're like, and everyone's who the fuck like, is her? who's her? Who? Who? Her? Who? 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 Exactly. <laughs> and of course, by the end of the episode, we find out that her, Rosa, Rosa, Rosa. Mhm. Mm mhm. And wow, wow. I mean, that was a surprise. It was. It that it makes so much sense because the show has been so focused on her. Yes. That it makes sense that there would be a way for her to like come back or like that her body's there, you know, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because it, it it seems strange. Yeah. To care because we care about Rosa. Yeah. You know, we have an attachment to her even though we've never seen her alive. Well, through Liz and through memories. And and to this day, Noah was so very much like I love her. Yeah. You know, so that now makes sense. Like. Yeah. He's had her this whole time. In a weird way, but yeah. Ooh. Ooh. And uh, I don't even want to know what's going down in that Ooh. Yeah. Anyway. Um, <laughs> but yeah, and then, um, of course, she gets saved in a... They told him not to, but he did anyway, which of course we knew he was going to do because he was thrumming with power. Oh my God. He was feeling well, himself. Well, let's just talk about that because he was feeling his oats. And then he's like, I gotta find me some Liz or Tech. So true. Ooh. They finally got touchy touchy. Oh, they got all the touchy Ooh. touchy. They oh, did. That's over. why I wore this shirt. No, uh, not really. They got but, all the touchy yes, touchy. Yes, they were touchy touchy. They were they, they were all that stuff. Mm. It's very um it was hot, but then it was also kind of a very awkward sex scene. Yeah. There it was, was something that like something about it that was just kind of weird. I think it was too much close ups. Yeah. Yeah, but there was something. Too long. Maybe that's what it. But yeah, there's just something that was kind of off for me, and, and kind of. The beginning was great when he like pushed her up like against the wall, and she took yeah. her shirt off, and I was like, yeah. "Oh, hello!" But like, finally, yes, yes. It's like we're like, it's all good. <laughs> but it was basically once the touchy touchy started, it got a little weird. Mm. Got a little weird, but it's okay. They had a good time. A little weird. Yeah, they, a little weird. Yeah, yeah, they had fun. And that's all that matters. Needed. Yeah. Both needed it. Little. Yeah. Max all juiced up. So he's like, come on, baby. Exactly. I'm confident now. Exactly. Let's do this. And so that was good. That was great. Yeah. Um. But yeah, so then from that he goes and he uh, doesn't tell Liz about Rosa. He's just yes. like, I'm going to save her. Yeah. And so he uses all his powers and saves her. And that reunion with Rosa and Liz... I mean, especially because she had just had that conversation at the grave. Yes. Oh, that was rough. It was so good. That was a great... I loved how it was written, especially that we knew that Rosa could possibly come back alive yes. at this point. Yes. So, it, 
it almost made it like sadder because it's like you don't even know like I didn't think that Rosa was gonna get resurrected right there I right. thought that was gonna be like a season two thing right. like oh we have to work on our powers but no yeah. Max is all juiced up um so I just feel like is it Jeannie is that her name that plays Liz oh yes sorry I was like it's okay Ooh. um she just she did such a good job it's really hard to act by yourself yeah and as good as she's been through the season i this episode was my favorite for her Mm -hmm. i just i loved that part of the grave and just all the things that she was saying and if she was just like rambling but it it just made sense for her yeah you know her even saying like i don't even believe that you're you know i'm talking to a rock yeah. You know, and it was was funny, but it was sad, and it was it was it was really good. And then so for her to get to see her sister, and like I'm getting emotional just talking Aww. about it. Like, and I I always like anything sister like that always gets me, which is funny. And it's what the whole season was about is right, sister stuff. Right. Um, but nothing really got me as much as this, um, and her just seeing her and just like the disbelief. Yeah. Of uh, and of course I I she's been seeing all these crazy things for the last couple of months. So obviously it, it, at least she was kind of prepared <laughs> right. like something crazy could happen. <laughs> but just I mean I just couldn't imagine like and just just it, you know no time has passed for Rosa. Yeah. And she hasn't realized yet Liz is 10 years older. She's just like she's just probably scared and confused yeah. and doesn't know what's going on. And you know her Liz is upset and Rosa is like comforting her and saying like I'm here and yeah like it was I love the writing I love the acting and like as upset as I was from other things that were happening um and the other storylines and how they were wrapping up like it kind of made it all worth it yeah for me just because it was such a great reunion and yes. really touching yeah for sure Oh, so Max heals Michael's hand. Oh yeah. So that was a big, a big thing. And I didn't, I didn't like it because Michael was seriously like, don't. Like, yeah. He was even like saying like as it was happening, so it was kind of like consensual healing, <laughs> like <laughs> you know, like mm-hmm. it's kind of like if he doesn't want it, because especially because it wasn't just like mm-hmm. a oh people can't tell, you know, people would know like that something had happened, but. He said, like, it's a reminder. Yes. Like, he likes to have it almost. Yeah. Obviously, he was happy that it was healed, I think, in the end. But kind of like, don't just go doing whatever just because right. you can. But again, that's the God complex. If he's straight it's up. It's true. And we've is, seen signs of that, for yes. sure, throughout the season. We definitely have. So, so him kind of going on this darker path, I love. Mm-hmm. Sexy he needs Max. Some, yeah, he needs Sexy. some edge because Max is such Ooh. a little goody goody right. guy. He's such a little wimp, so like, come on, bring yeah. the sexy Max. So I'm here for a dark sided Max. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. I want him to pull back once you know he's kind of explored that. Yep. Um, yep. But yeah, it was um, and him playing the guitar was great. I mean, because that's something that you know they've had as a thing for yes. a while. Um, but did not like that he played for Maria when it was clearly an Alex thing. Alex gave him the damn guitar. Like, yeah. and with that song. I mean, yeah. was the song amazing? Yes. What a great callback and what a great arrangement. It was mm-hmm. beautiful. I mm-hmm. loved it. But mm-hmm. it was one of those things like, that's a love song. And like, for him to be playing it like for Maria. Yeah. And, and you're literally watching Alex be all sad by himself in his leather jacket, mm. which is very much a nostalgic. We haven't seen him in a leather jacket at all, except for in the past. Mm. So him wearing that leather jacket is like mm. kind of nice like a catch. symbol of yeah. him kind of being like, I want to try again and like yeah. start over. Like, oh. you know what I mean? Yeah. So like, it just made it so much sadder. Yeah. Um, and to be playing that song. Yeah. Not for Alex. I mean, they're not going to play the song again. And it was great. Maybe they didn't know if they were going to get renewed. Right. Of course. So they just wanted to make sure they used the song. Well, which I get. But I wish that... Um, I did love that. Because that was when Rosa and Liz were meeting yes, too. Which was great. Yes. yes. Which was great. It was, yeah. it, And especially because it is kind of romantic. But it works. You know, it's like Frozen. 
They talk about true love. And it's not just about true love in a romantic way, but true, you know, two hearts yeah. that get each other. Right. And that can be a friendship thing. That can be a sister or brother or, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. just it's that true love. And that's something that Rosa and Liz have. Yeah. Is that true love and affection for each other. So it worked really well for them. So mixed feelings, but overall, I feel good about that. Well, going back to Michael playing guitar, Maria noticed his hand. Oh, because what she is it? The whole season's still over. Doesn't know. And she still doesn't freaking know. Still doesn't know. Come on. Maria what deserves better than this. This whole last uh, couple episodes, you've already been doing what you've been doing. And now this, she still mm. doesn't know. Mm. 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 We're doing Maria dirty. Maria needs a serious workaround, makeover, mm-hmm. whatever mm-hmm. in season two. Michael Please needs to it. stop. Yeah, just stop. Maria, you need to fix your little attitudeness, okay? Yeah. You Alex, need like, you need to be wild, boy. I'm all about Get Alex. Get out there. Getting, be bad. And just like sleeping around. Yes. Just like yes. um, put it in someone's fo- Seduce so Max. Do it. Like, that'd be great. Do it. Oh, my <laughs> God. That would be so awesome. Oh, my God. I would die. I would die. Alex, you need, this needs to happen, boy. We but, on your team what will we, be your wingmen. Exactly. And you and Kyle, go be friends, because you guys yeah. are, we're a great duo so this cute. season. So, we so want to continue. We want to yep. continue that. Yep. yep. And maybe, maybe Kyle will know somebody. Maybe he'll know a doctor. Go get Alex. Duff? Hooked up with a doctor. Ooh, Ooh a nice, respectable young man. Yes, Ooh, indeed, indeed. That'd be awesome. Yeah. I'd be here for that. Yeah. But yeah, just Alex deserves better. He does. So let's yeah. get on that. Mm-hmm. And, you know, just mm-hmm. go lay down. Look, Michael. I was on team Isabel and Maria. Why, oh, yeah. Why are we making that happen? Well, so here's the thing. I was thinking about this. Oh. Now that Rosa's back, oh, Rosa sh- and Isabel. Uh, well, hey. I mean, technically, hey. uh, you know, there's obviously it's some weird freaking history there. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, it, Isabel's it was having, me, but it wasn't me. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, she has all these kind of feelings for Rosa. Yeah. And they obviously were attracted to each other. So. Yeah. That so, could be, that could be fun. That could I'd be, be a fun story. Yeah, I didn't, I mean, I I didn't know Rosa that. was an option. Right. I I thought the girl was dead. Yeah. So. so now that but she's, she's back, back in. like, all right. All these single all these single ladies out yes. there. And that'd be a way for her to explore. And then that way there's not another bisexual character in Maria. <laughs> True. So then it's Rosa and Isabel. I'd be here for that. But then we need some, what, Maria and Kyle? Like, who, like... And now it's time for Roswell's very own Baywatch. This week for Baywatch on our final week of Roswell, New Mexico. I gotta give it to our main girl, Liz Orteco. She was beautifully emotional this episode, which you know I love. But on top of that, she be getting naked. Her boobs were all in her bra and like, she kept her bra and I was like, this is fine. Like, cause she looked so good. Um, but yeah, I mean, she was feeling herself. She was feeling Max and she just, she was just so open and just, it was great. It was beautiful. It was Babe Watch. Kyle, that not getting a gun, but getting a bulletproof vest. Yeah. And being able to deflect Master Sergeant and get put that bitch in a coma. Damn. Like, cause Damn. he has a code. He's like, I'm just gonna kill you. However, I'm sure that's gonna bite us all in the butt. Right. But I, right. they're like, okay, we killed Noah who was one of the main, main antagonists. So we can't also kill Master Sergeant. Right, right. Because that, you know, that'd be boring. Everyone's dead. So that's why he's only in a coma. But I'm sure we can have some fun with him first. Like, that would be cool. But I was just like, that's a good way to end it. Yeah. And Kyle, like, you know, he's kind of taking control of himself, but still has his own personal set of rules that he wants yes. to stick to. Yes. He's not going to, unlike other people we know, <clears throat> Max. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So going back to Kyle and like the whole Master Sergeant thing or whatever, because I kind of feel like with the main three, our little alien babies, mm-hmm. 
they haven't really cared about this whole government spying on them True. thing. True. It's kind of been, it's like a side thing with like Kyle and Alex. Yeah, which is... And Michael a little bit. Which is completely opposite from the original because like obviously they were freaking the fuck out as you should. Right. You know, like what the government knows that we're aliens. Right, they're like the government, whatever. Yeah. So now that we've taken out Noah him out of the way Fine. is now the new bad going to be the government especially now that the way that it's ended with michael obviously and like seeing his mom and like seeing this facility and stuff like is he this gonna issues. be is this gonna be the new bad or like are we just gonna say whatever that's like a side thing and we're just gonna like get real sci-fi and like have well they did specifically i noticed that noah was when he was giving his whole speech and talking about the awakening or whatever yeah, it's called yeah. um he he said specifically that he doesn't know when they'll be coming and he was like it could be years it could be months like he was kind of giving a very so i feel like that's something they're gonna wait until they're like a couple more seasons in yeah it's gonna be like this foreboding be thing yeah. yeah or maybe like when they find out like oh we only have one more season yeah let's do it yeah like that sort of thing yeah. just because he gave it such a like he didn't say they'll be coming in the year right you know this right. or whatever it's who knows so they left it open so i definitely i definitely feel the government because it's already been laid out yeah so i definitely and feel like they're gonna to go be, that way that has to be a threat uh, yeah like i still don't understand why they're not freaking out about this i think because they felt you know alex saying like i'm shutting this down whatever that maybe they feel like that was all that needed to be done but now seeing them the call field or whatever maybe that's gonna kind of light a fire yeah because that's the thing is like i mean michael briefly mentioned it to them but he hasn't really had a sit down and like there hasn't been time exactly that's what i mean like they haven't really had time to really like sit down and talk about it so yeah i think maybe that's kind of what it's setting up for is next season is gonna be government and if they're starting to like really practice their powers mm. now then shenanigans yeah well, and that's a way to get discovered. That's what I mean. Yeah. Like, you blowing out some freaking lights and shit, or all the power in New Mexico or whatever. You gonna like, get special unit up in her. Oh, Agent Pierce. Who knows? Terrifying. Maybe. He, Maybe. he was terrifying. We'll see. <sighs> we shall see. But mm -hmm. I, I want that. Like, oh, yeah. yeah. No, that would be it. really yeah. cool. You know, as long as they are not trying to do a zillion things at once. Just yeah. Put the brakes on a little bit. We still mm -hmm. we like fast pace, but yeah, yeah, just chill out mm. a little. I'm okay with some more touchy touchy. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I I, I do want to just see where they go. I just want them to give a little more thought and a little more foreshadowing. But for the most part, keep doing what you're doing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and and think about the characters that you're building. Yes. And continue mm -hmm. to have them be true to themselves. Yeah. As you're writing, you're like, okay. But would Liz really do this? Yeah. Would she act this way? And if she wouldn't, don't write it. Cross that shit out. Don't Get some it. white out. Yeah. Don't write it. Say no, no. Mm -hmm. Just, just think a little bit. Yeah. Just a yeah. little. So, we do plan to do kind of an overall season video. So be on the lookout yes. for that yes. because there's just too much yeah. put in a, this video mm -hmm. but know that this we are, video we is time. already long enough exactly. we don't got time for that exactly so just know we will be doing a full season video yeah kind of just talking about our overall mm -hmm. thoughts and opinions yeah and we're also planning on doing um a little video that we're calling ufo and uf oh no, no. which is gonna be us talking about some of our favorite looks this season i these sexy sexy fine people yes in this and show. some of our least favorite looks because mm, there was some, I'm just There were some choices. Choices, yeah. guys. Oh, and then we are going to also be going back to the original yes. for fun as we're waiting in this Roswell slump, mm -hmm. waiting for season two. Yeah, so we will be doing our top three episodes per season mm -hmm. of the original Roswell, mm -hmm. um, which I think will just be fun for all of us to kind of go back and watch it. Yeah, and hang maybe out a little compare and contrast. Yeah. Um, and it's you know that's all we have planned if you have any ideas anything you want us to dive into and talk about let us know in the comments yeah. or tweet us or whatever yeah exactly and yep. we'll make whatever videos people want 
Yeah, there's one video I want to do. I don't know if you guys are down, but I'm um, actually looking into the actual Roswell incident. Yeah. Just like what Ooh, is actually some recorded. Some history. Yeah, like what actually happened. That would be cool. I'm yeah. down for that. You guys care about that? <sighs> I love conspiracies, so mm -hmm. let's bring it on. Yes, exactly. Well, guys, thank you for joining us on this yeah. Last episode of, of Roswell, New Mexico. Not Roswell recap, yes. but of Roswell, New Mexico. Yes, it's been quite a journey. Yes, it has. It's been super fun. But we get to continue. It's so just super excited. exciting. Yes. But yes, if you like what you see here, we're going to continue, like we mm -hmm. said, mm -hmm. all those things. Plus, we have some other ideas in store. Yes. What TV shows and movies do you want us to yeah. talk about? What do you want us to review? We've got some ideas. Yeah. But if you have one, yeah. let us know. What's hot? We all about that sci-fi biz. Yes. Mm. So yay, congrats to Roswell. You got renewed. Woo. We'll see you guys next week. All right, Roswell. Bye.